We have the baking steel, which is a, one essential piece of equipment that you need. The next thing that you need is to make a nice dough. Another option you can have is you can go to Whole Foods, and Whole Foods makes a great pizza dough off the shelf, take it home, let it rise for a couple of hours. It's actually a delicious dough. Um, another option, another one of my favorites is Trader Joe's dough. Uh, everyone has a Trader Joe's around. Again, take it home with you. Um, it, it works great, especially on the baking steel. You get nice airy crusts on it. But if we want to step it up a notch, we need to put together our own dough. And uh, Kenji from Serious Eats has laid out a beautiful New York style dough that is quite simple to make and it is delicious. And that's what I've been personally using at home. I'm really happy with the dough. And uh, we're gonna try to put that together for us today. Uh, I've already measured out all my ingredients, which I think is key before you start anything. You wanna have everything measured out in front of you. Uh, and I've done that. So next what I'm gonna do is take all these ingredients and put it into our food processor. Uh, and I'll start with the flour. Now let's basically pour this in here. This is basically four and a half cups of flour. It's, it's actually the recipe we are including with the baking steel um, in our package. I dump that in. I dump in some instant yeast. Boom. Uh, we got some, some salt. This is the salt, I think. Maybe the sugar. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Thin there. We take our sugar, add that in. Now I'm going to put this food processor to work here. And it's backwards, so I was, let's try that again. Throw on the lid. I'm going to pulse this three or four times. It's basically pulse. <laughs> <laughs> plug it in. Maybe plug it in first. Plug it in and That'd then pulse it. <laughs> I'm going to pulse this three or four times. Now it is ready to add the liquid. And I'm gonna take some uh, lukewarm water, again, this is all part of the directions, and the olive oil, and blend this for about 15 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is just pour this in, and then I'm gonna start pulsing right about now. So we're gonna time this 15 seconds, add the olive oil, Form the ball, we'll stop it. Okay, so I'm just basically taking the dough out of the, uh, the food processor. It's a little sticky, so you gotta be a little careful. Um, be careful not to cut your hand on this blade, which gets sharp. I'm gonna take all the uh, dough out, and we're gonna knead it for just a, just a few seconds to kind of work it a little bit. Work it like a lightly floured surface here. Just gonna knead it a little bit, fold it into itself, pound it in, just for a few secs. And there's our dough. Well, and we just want to get a nice window pane test. After I've kneaded it a few times, I want to make sure I can stretch this dough and see through it. And all those glutens are developed. And we've got something here. Oh, I'm starting to tear a little bit. I think we've developed this dough nicely. All right, so now we, we, get, we get our dough. We passed the window test, we kneaded a bit. I like to take the dough now. I, just, I throw it back on the scale. We got about a thousand grams there, so we're gonna divide that into three different portions. So I'll take I'll take a knife. Let me just grab a, a chef knife here, if I can find one. And we're gonna just cut it up um, to three equal portions. Let's see how I do this. I'm gonna take. We have to add a little bit more there. We got one there, and now I'll cut this in half. This should be about three equal portions. Just about right. What a slice job there. Anyway, so now I'm just gonna make little balls here. And first, actually, first, I'm gonna take some olive oil. Throw it in these, I like these, con these plastic containers. Um, I wipe a little oil in, and I throw my dough right inside. And what's nice about these is they're round. So when I'm actually going to make my pizza, they're round, they start out round. Much easier to develop a round style pizza. So I basically just take a little olive oil and I dump it, dump it inside the container. We got three of them for these three beautiful doughs, thanks to Kenji. I'm just gonna wipe that around a little bit. This helps to prevent the, uh, the dough from sticking inside. And 
now let's take, I'll take these doughs and I'm going to form a little ball with them just to kind of throw it inside. But one, two, and lastly, the third dough. And here's the scoop. We're going to take this dough and put it in the fridge for three days. That way the flavor is going to develop and we are in great shape in a few days from now to, to make some great pizza. Thank you, Kenji.